What the hell is water polo? That's what you're here to answer, dumbass. Oh. So I recently started playing water polo, and a lot of my friends have been asking what water polo is. So water polo is where the white girl sport, volleyball, and soccer had a baby. And then Poseidon came along and he was like, Agua. Alright, so on one side you got three people, then you got a goalie in the middle, and then you got three people on the other side. And then you got the same thing on the other side because you play water polo with two teams. Alright, so I'm going to talk about this guy first. And the guy on the other side does the same thing as him. But at the beginning of each quarter, this guy does something different. So I'm going to talk about that. So the person that's put in that position, they're called the sprinter. And they're one of two people. They're either on a swim team and learn to swim very, very fast. Or they have severe ADHD and literally just blaze through the water. And uh, so these two guys, they don't do too much important. They just kind of move up. So let's say, you, like, sprinter. The reason the sprinter goes over here, so they can get the ball. Because there's going to be a referee over here. Drops the ball in. So these two sprinters are going to be going, swimming really fast. They're going to try and get the ball, and whichever team gets the ball, they pass it back to this guy, which is like swimming to over here. This guy does the same thing. This guy also swims all the way up, and then this guy goes to center, or this guy goes to center, and then the other one goes like um, like further out over here. And they're not going to be this close in a real game. It's like a lot further away. And then you just pass the ball over, like the... People that are on defense obviously try to block the ball from getting passed around and getting shot into the goal. And then, yeah, so this person, they would just pass around until they can score a goal. And then, if they score a goal, then it's this team's ball. They swim over here and try to score a goal. Pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, the team on offense is going to be setting up something like this. That's what I was trying to describe. And quick thing about passing, you can only pass with one hand. And then defense is going to be obviously trying to block those passes. And they're going to be on you, like, push, basically pushing you in the water. They're going to have their hands on your shoulders. Not They can't drown you because that's an illegal move. That, that'll, that'll be a turnover. The other team gets the ball. One thing I forgot to mention, goalie. It looks easy to play, I swear to God. It's not easy to play. Do not underestimate the goalie. Okay. Their thighs have to be like mega jacked, okay? Because they have to switch, they have to like push themselves up to block shots coming in. They have to be able to like fly in the air, in the water, using thighs and like flying all around the goal, blocking the shot. So don't you dare think that playing goalie is easy. Last piece of knowledge I'm gonna put in your head there's a strategy called six on five that occurs. And. It's, it happens where wing swims all the way down with the ball and then sometimes center defense leaves to go defend wing with wings defender too so it's two people on one but that leaves center offense open so wing will pass the center and then center will shoot and that's usually an easy score. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed I tried doing something different today but kind of in the same style. Uh, if you did enjoy, subscribe, like the video, share with your friends if you have any, and uh, go play some water polo. Okay, testing, so this is a cut. <laughs> Alright.